make sure I'm ready for this video real quick. Got my notes, check. Pepsi, check. Sunglasses, check. Hat, check. And yes, thick skin, check. Let's go. Welcome to Golden Blue today, everybody. If you are a college football fan, please go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button because that's all we do here. Videos every single day. And when you get a chance, go check out our Patreon page. We have a lot of great perks over there. We call our Patreons the Shot Callers because they call the shots around here. Remember, $5 and up Patreons will get to decide the game that we're going to live stream in the regular season and you'll get to watch with me, Golden Blue Dude. And our score prediction contest will be coming back. Every week, I'll pick out a game and my Patreons will pick the score and whoever comes close to the score wins $20. And you can win as many times as you want. Yesterday, Golden Blue Dude made a boo-boo. In air, I was flat out incorrect. I made a mistake. And unlike Tar Heel, whenever I make a mistake, I actually admit it. So yesterday I did a video doing conference realignment based on geography. The only problem is I use the term Midwest to describe the wrong teams and the wrong states. And the states that were actually Midwest, I used the wrong term for them. So I totally botched the term Midwest. So apparently, I'm not very good at geography, but that's okay. I went and I actually looked at a map, so I have my zones down pat. The crazy thing is, it's much different than what I thought it was. So today, I wanted to do conference realignment based on geography for real. In the United States, there are six regions. You have the Pacific, which consists of the states of Washington, Oregon, California, Alaska, and Hawaii. So that's a total of five states. You have the Rocky region, which consists of the states of Montana, Idaho, Wyoming, Nevada, Utah, and Colorado. So that's a total of six states. You have the Southwest region, which consists of the states of Arizona, New Mexico, Texas, and Oklahoma. So that's a total of just four states. But the good news is Texas is included. And the state of Texas has six Power Five teams in it alone. You have the Midwest region, which consists of the states of North Dakota, South Dakota, Nebraska, Kansas, Minnesota, Iowa, Missouri, Wisconsin, Illinois, Michigan, Indiana, and Ohio. So that's a total of 12 states. You have the Northeast region, which consists of the states of Maine, New Hampshire, Vermont, Massachusetts, Connecticut, Rhode Island, New York, New Jersey, Delaware, Maryland, and Pennsylvania. That's a total of 11 states, but don't let that fool you. The Northeast region doesn't look great. And finally, you have the Southeast region, which consists of the states of Arkansas, Louisiana, Kentucky, Tennessee, Mississippi, Alabama, West Virginia, Virginia, North Carolina, South Carolina, Georgia, and Florida. And that's a total of 12 states. So those are your actual regions in the United States of America. So now let's do conference realignment based on those regions. So the Pacific region will be the Pac-12, the Southwest region will be the Big 12, the Midwest region will be the Big 10, the Northeast region will be the ACC, the Southeast region will be the SEC, and the Rocky region is no man's land, so it will be divided between the Pacific and the Southwest. So first up, if conference realignment was strictly done by regions on the map, here's what the Pac-12 would look like. You'd have Washington, Washington State, Oregon, Oregon State, Cal, Stanford, USC, UCLA, Utah, and BYU. So I gave the Pac-12 Utah and BYU because they needed a little bit more help than the Big 12. So I gave them two of the three teams that are in the Rocky region. By the way, these are just FBS teams that are already in a power conference or are about to be in a power conference. So I am counting BYU, Houston, Cincinnati, and UCF. So there's your Pac-12. But in this case, the Pac-12 would actually go back to being the Pac-10. Now on to the Big 12, which is the Southwest region of the United States. Here are the teams that would be in the Big 12. Arizona, Arizona State, which we know is in the Pac-12. But in this scenario, they're in the Big 12. You'd also have Texas, Texas A&M, Texas Tech, Houston, Baylor, TCU, Oklahoma and Oklahoma State, plus Colorado from the Rocky region. So the Pac-12 gets two teams out of the Rocky region, and the Big 12 gets one team out of the Rocky region. So the Big 12 would actually have 11 teams. So I guess they're the Big 11 in this situation. On to the Midwest region, aka the Big 10. Here's how the Big 10 will look strictly based on region. You'd have Nebraska, Kansas, 
Kansas State, Minnesota, Iowa, Iowa State, Missouri, Wisconsin, Illinois, Northwestern, Purdue, Indiana, Notre Dame, Michigan, Michigan State, Ohio State, and Cincinnati. That looks like one heck of a league. One of the stronger leagues based on region. Moving on to the Northeast region, aka the ACC. And in this situation, the ACC got totally screwed. Because even though there's 11 states in the Northeast region, there's only six FBS teams that are in a Power 5 conference in the Northeast region. And they would be Syracuse, Rutgers, Maryland, Penn State, Pitt, and Boston College. So the ACC better be thankful that conferences aren't based on strictly region. Because they'd only have a 16 conference. Uh, that, that would be the bottom of the barrel. But finally, the Southeast region, a.k.a. the SEC. Check out the SEC if it was strictly based on region. This would be one beast of a conference. You'd have Arkansas, LSU, Kentucky, Louisville, Tennessee, Vanderbilt, Ole Miss, Mississippi State, Alabama, Auburn, West Virginia, Virginia, Virginia Tech, North Carolina, NC State, Wake Forest, Duke, South Carolina, Clemson, Georgia, Georgia Tech, Florida, Florida State, Miami, and UCF. So not only would it be a great power in football, but this would also be a great power in basketball. So y'all let me know what you think about conferences strictly based on region. Maybe it's not such a bad thing that it's not based on region because the ACC would be totally screwed only having six teams. And the Pac-12 and the Big 12, they wouldn't be doing so well either. Pac-12 would go down to the Pac-10, gaining Utah and BYU out of the Rockies. And the Big 12 would have 11 teams, gaining Colorado out of the Rockies. Big 10 would be fine. They would be a nice conference as well, but not quite as big as the SEC. Not quite as powerful as the SEC. So to sum it all up, the Pac-12 is five states with 10 teams grabbing two teams from the Rocky region. The Big 12 is a total of four states with 11 teams grabbing one team out of the Rocky region. The Midwest is 12 states consisting of 17 teams. The Northeast region, 11 states but just six teams, not good at all. And the SEC, 12 states but 25 teams. That's a lot of teams for one region. So we know that the SEC would benefit the most from this. The Midwest would benefit quite a bit. The Pac-12 would actually suffer two losses. The Big 12 would suffer one loss as far as total numbers. And the ACC, mass casualties. You'd only have six members. I think the ACC would just be absorbed into other conferences because six teams, that's not even enough to have a conference. You'd be totally, totally screwed in this scenario, ACC. Man, so if you really think about it, if you did it by region, that's actually very comparable to what people are saying is going to happen as far as the Big Ten and the SEC being the major conferences and the other conferences shrinking or getting picked apart, then the ACC probably not even going to exist. So this is actually pretty close to reality when you really think about it. So give me your reactions in the comments section about conference realignment strictly based on geography. I look forward to the comments on this one. That's all I got for you for this show. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you on my next show.